Janga la COVID-19 linatarajiwa kuwa miongoni mwa masuala yatakayozungumziwa na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta katika hotuba yake kwa taifa huko bungeni hapo kesho. Hotuba hii ikiwa imeratibiwa kwenye katiba kufanyika kila mwaka ambapo Rais anatoa taarifa kwa taifa kuhusu hatua zilizopigwa na serikali yake katika masuala kadhaa. Tim Taigoin anatueleza zaidi. Sana na nusu Jumanne hii taswira katika bunge la kitaifa itakuwa kama hii. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta atakapowasili bungeni kulihutubia taifa kiangazia hatua ambazo serikali yake imepiga kufikia sasa. Na hotuba hii kitolewa takriban miezi tisa kabla ya muhula wa uongozi wa Rais Kenyatta kukamilika. Hotuba yake ikitarajiwa kuangazia miradi ya maendeleo ambayo serikali yake imefanya kwa miaka tisa is an urgent need for construction and equipping of more dormitories classes and other amenities to, to, to further facilitate ease of learning for our children there are issues that have been identified there are issues that he felt were part and parcel of his legacy and therefore he'll be telling us how far he has gone the government has gone in the realization of the same where we are and what is expected Aidha swala la usalama wa kitaifa litapewa kipaumbele ikikumbukwa kwamba mataifa jirani ya Somalia na Ethiopia yanashuhudia mivutano We cannot afford to have actually a dispute in Kenya here where will the world go in sub saharan Africa it's only Kenya Kando na hayo pia kama hotuba za hapo awali ufisadi na hatua ambazo serikali imepiga kuhakikisha wale waliovuna pasi na kupanda wanachukuliwa hatua pia inatarajiwa kuangaziwa mwaka wa 2017 rais alipokuwa katika kampeni za uchaguzi hotuba yake ilizungumzia kwa kina ajenda nne kuu za serikali zikiwemo afya bora kwa wote chakula cha kutosha ukuaji wa viwanda na makazi ya bei nafuu hata hivyo migawanyiko katika serikali baada ya uhusiano wake na naibu wake kudorora inaonekana kulemaza utekelezaji wake wa Kenya wakitaka kujua hatuma ya ajenda hizo nne Maandalizi ya uchaguzi yakiendelea na huku hofu ikitanda kuhusu salama wakati na hata baada ya uchaguzi hotuba hii pia inatarajiwa kuangazia jinsi vyombo vya usalama vimejiandaa kwa uchaguzi pamoja na ujumbe wa uiano na umoja We expect nothing short of a peaceful transparent democratically held elections IEBC must meet the test and the expectation of the people of Kenya The security operators must be ready. Na kwa sababu ya janga la corona, si wabunge wote watakaoruhusiwa kuingia bungeni kusikiza hotuba hii. Baadhi yao watafuatiliwa kiwa maeneo tofauti. Chama cha Citizen.